Welcome back to the evolution of higher education, presented by Destiny Solutions. In today's marketplace, institutions need to offer niche programs that meet the specific needs of unique audiences, rather than trying to make the same degree programs work for everyone. This is driven in large part by the changing audience of today's students. The number of traditional age students is shrinking, there's less 18 year olds than there used to be, and the high school graduation rate is in decline. In order for institutions to succeed over the long term, they need to serve the non-traditional demographic. In fact, even though the number of traditional age students is declining, the non-traditional audience is growing at such a rate that total higher education enrollments are expected to stay flat through 2020. Of course, this is an incredibly diverse space and it's actually better to think about the non-traditional demographic more in terms of numerous sub-markets, each rich with opportunity. There's employer-supported corporate training, which according to recent research from Destiny Solutions, is worth upwards of $172 billion. Now, the evolution community has identified three keys to really standing out in the corporate training space. The first is that institutions need to forge strong partnerships with local employers. The second is offering a great deal of flexibility that really allows those partnerships to grow over time. The third is creating and delivering programming that meets both the hard and soft skill needs of today's employees. Another submarket is intensive English language programs, or IALPs. Now, these are non-credit pathways that basically provide international students with the English language skills they need to matriculate into full-time degree programs. According to recent research, this is a global marketplace that's worth upwards of $825 million, and the evolution community has identified a few keys to success here as well. Institutions need to offer a level of excellence in language programming, and also need to invest heavily in global outreach and engagement. Finally, institutions need to offer their IELP students a seamless customer experience. A third submarket well worth exploring is non-credit higher education. Now, one in five American workers will earn at least one certificate over the course of their career, which makes it unsurprising that demand for non-credit higher education has grown 800% in the last 30 years. According to the evolution community, to stand out in this space, institutions need to really understand and respond to the needs of local industries, which of course change from region to region. Another key to success is unbundling your programming to create a level of flexibility that improves access for working adults. Now we've spoken about three unique submarkets, all of which fall under the umbrella of non-traditional, but the needs, expectations and characteristics of the students in each of these sub-markets vary significantly. Of course, when you're talking about a demographic that encompasses 74% of all students today, it's not surprising that institutions can't really be successful trying to be everything to everyone. Instead, to succeed and grow over the long term, institutions need to define and dominate a non-traditional niche. Thanks for watching this edition of the Evolution of Higher Education. We'll see you next time.